know, I've had <coughs> at all levels, and half of them can still not do ball handling. So it's one of the things with me that I'm big on because I know what it did for me as a player um, with the ball handling. We're just going to look at three passing drills now. Um, I don't think I've got time for a fourth, but one obvious one is pig in the middle, all right, which is um, basically the same rules as pig in the middle. I'm not going to do that one, but that's one that if you're not doing it, it's a good defensive drill and passing drill where you get them to fake a pass, to make a pass, fake high, pass low, fake low, pass high. Okay, that's it from the video that I'll give you later. You, that you'll understand what I mean by fake high, pass low, whatever I just said. All right. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I want all of you guys to leave your passes where they are. I want them all standing around the circle. We're going to hold hands. <laughs> that's always a good one. <laughs> Especially when there's a lot of points that are good. <laughs> Come 
Alright? And you just demonstrate it by the being silly. Okay? But, you know, I'm not, I'm, as a coach, I don't waste time. If, like, I'm going to be harsh on kids, they waste my like, time if they're like that. I want to coach kids that want to learn. If you're going to muck around, don't play with me. I don't want to listen to that. That's just a waste of time for me. And that sounds harsh, but I like to control those kids. The way I'll do that is to separate them, and I'm warning them, you will be separated if you're not. If you don't behave, you'll be separated or won't be involved. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I want you to be involved. Alright, so I'm harsh with the honest. Alright, I've got to be assertive. Now, the rules still apply. Now I'll throw over the head of the person in the middle. You cannot um, throw the person next to you. The new rule is you cannot pass the person who just passed it to you. Now there's two guys in the middle. Either one of those guys can be up. We've got two balls in play now. Alright, so as catchers, you've got to be ready for a ball. As defenders, you've got to be ready to get the ball. Ready? Go! <laughs> so now what you're doing is you have to... I've got it! they need to do on defense and passing to keep them from getting their hands on the ball. Let's go. Move right in the middle. The other thing too is you find your weaker kids don't know what to do. So you've got to encourage them to run. So like sprint for the ball. Yeah, this is your pass up in your wrist. Let's go. Let's go, just go, go, go. Go on, go. Alright. One thing you've got to teach players is if you're all down, don't play with each other, just get the guy in the goal It's like, that will keep you real stealthy. Let's go, let's go, kids. Alright, so now we're going to have to So you get the idea with that drill. Alright, it's, it's, with a smaller group, one ball, with a bigger group, two balls, um, with a really good group, it's a really hard drill. Seniors 16 will play that drill, like 16s and including, um, what was the one we just did? We did a pass one. Right? Your Red Rover, your 16s will do full court. They'll get a kick out of it, right? You know, you, you old, as they get older, you got to, there's a challenge in running from one end to the other without getting tagged and being, having the ability to tag teammates. It's just a fun game. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to play a game that's called I think I've got it down as four or five to score. You make out what it is. I just say four to score. It's a passing game. And it's going to be teaching man to man defense and spacing is the idea. Alright, that's what I'm going to So, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give you a number. When I give you your number, you're going to sit at the elbow with your number one on this side. Your elbow is number two on that side. So, if you give one, you go there. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Right. Uh, Alright. Sorry, I tried to even the teams up as best I could based on height and what I think they're doing. Oh. Now, the idea of this is you have to get the ball past it in a row to get a point. If the ball gets touched, it's not stolen, if it gets stolen, great. All the other team has to do is touch the ball again and the count starts at zero again. So if you get a point, all you've got to do is make four passes in a row. So you guys make four passes in a row to get you one point. The first thing to go four. The first team that all saw four times will win the game. Okay. No, just four times. So I will keep score. Alright. So the only rule I have in this one is that you cannot pass to the person who just passed it to you. So a guy can't just stand next to you and, because that's what happens. They just go bang, 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 bang. So the kids are very quick to work it out. So you cannot pass the person that just passed it to you. You man up so you find a player of equal ability. So what I would like you to do is stand up along the blue line and face the person you're going to guard. So think someone on this team you can guard that's a big... No, no, on that line. You guys on this blue line, face each other. Face each 
gather along the blue line, who are you going to guard? Again, specifics. Try and be as specific and get what you want. Fall down. Fall down down there. Alright. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm just going to bounce the ball like AFL. We're going to play... We're going to play only in the half-court area. The idea is, is all you've got to do is pass the ball four times to get one point. When you get four passes in a row, you put the ball down, you step away, the other team picks it up. There is no dribbling, there is no shooting. So it's purely passing and fielding. It's man to man defense, so you guard your player. So you run around and you just got to get the pass, make an easy few teammates to pass. Now I'm teaching the drill, so I don't, I expect to, I would build on this, so we'll see if we've got time to build on it. Um, in the same sort of to explain space and happening. You'll see what will happen, these kids will all become ball chasers. So we want to get them out of the habit in a game. So what we want to do is encourage them to recognise space and fill it. Recognise space and fill it, but initially we won't get that, alright? So we're going to bounce the ball, when I bounce, we're going to bounce the head. If you guys are coming the first team to get it, you start playing straight away, you pass it to a teammate. Alright? Look at your teammates and you know who you are. Sorry? Yeah, actually, you should tuck your shirt to anybody, because I don't know who the hell you are. Kids are great, they'll coach you too. Alright, you ready? That's how they score. So the idea is you're looking for a good pass cut, 
finish. No ball to the floor. That's, that's the idea. So it really becomes like netball. The idea is, is uh, motion off, that's good to teach motion offense, but it teaches kids man-to-man -man defense pressure, because there's a lot of pressure, it teaches them to pass under pressure, it teaches them to recognize space, it teaches them to cut. It's got a lot of things that looks messy with the younger age group, but with an older age group, with skill and, and who have half an idea of what they're doing, um, it is a really good drill. The next one I'm going to do is try, which is just basically going from one sideline to the other with passes and they've just got to score over the other sideline, all right? So they're going to play each other here. This next game, the passing game, guys, is called try. All right, what's going to happen is I want you in your team, so the team's in shirts in on this side, the team's shirts out on this side. Let's go five, four. No, I'm going to get that bunch up. This, we're almost up to one. Okay, ball here. Ball here. All right, so you're still playing man to man defense. Playing the hardboard set. The guys on this side who are trying to score at that sideline, you guys are trying to score at that sideline, there's no dribbling. It's passing only. The way you score is when you get to your try line, you can you have to have two feet in or one foot in and one foot out and place the ball over the sideline to score. When you do that, it's a try and we start in the middle again. Yeah, you can do that. If you are outside the sideline when you score, then it's actually not a try. And can you dive? The best answer to that is no, because I want to keep you guys safe. All right, so you might think that might be. Your try line's over there. Their try line's there. They're going that way, you guys go. For you guys, you can't get Uh, you can pass it back then. You can pass. In this one, you can pass the person who just passed it to you. This is the ball out the floor. Normally, right. That way, the other team doesn't get advantage, but they have to work for it and it just starts the same way. So, they keep going on their side, Thomas. Right. Let's turn that ball. No, 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 you get it back. You actually get it back. Your ball. So, what I'll do is I'll start it again from the side here. So you guys play D, get ready. Here, sideline ball. If the team that's going close to the thing is, bring it back about three quarter of your court. Like you would in a game of football, obviously, it's a variation of rugby league.
slows them down, which increases the chance that something will make a mistake. Head up, look at the room, see the court. Every time these guys go, I'm going to remind them. That's where your points of emphasis are. You must keep riding them on it until eventually they have to say. With this drill, if you've got heaps of kids, heaps of balls, which we do, but yeah, I'm just thinking you guys are there, you could have them go once they reach half line, have the next line going, they can just wait the other end. So they're all busy, you're not having to stand. Have you guys done stuff like this? I'm assuming you do, you do corridors ever? This is it's teaching them all the dribbling and all the control that they need. You're twice as good as you are. If you've only got a right hand and you get a left hand, 
then you've just doubled effectively what you can do as a player. So we've got to develop both hands. That is absolutely important at the youngest level. Develop both hands. To do this, it's going to be a passing drill. I'm just showing you this passing drill. We're just running up the court. The guys in the middle start with the ball. They're going to pass the ball with their left hand going left. He's going to pass the ball because he's passing to his right with his right hand going right. We're going, to, we're going to run up the court. What's going to happen is this guy's going to then run behind to this side and get the ball off this girl. Get it back, pass it back with his left hand, and this guy's going to run, get the ball up the arm, and pass, get it back and pass it with his right, and then he's going to keep swapping. Does that make sense? So the guys, in, the guys on the outside line, you stay where you are. Yes. The guys in the middle, you're going to swap sides. So you're going to pass to the outside line, swap, get it back, pass to the outside line, then swap, get it back. So you guys just keep swapping it after passing. But if you're passing to your left, what hand do I want you to pass with? Left. If you're passing to your right, so when you get on this side, what hand are you going to be passing with? Left. What hand are you going to be passing on this side? Left. Good. All right. So the kids know it. Let's see how they go with it. Ready? Go. Yeah, cross over. Let's run, 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 run. Run forward. Yeah, go right. Run, go. That's it. Left, no, get past there. Pass there. Cross over. They don't know the drill, so I can't really teach the skill until they get the drill. And this is, once they get the drill, the rest is easy. Right, do you guys know what you're doing? No, I'm just like, you guys are passing back to them, you guys are just swapping. Get the ball, pass it back on the correct hand, then swap. There's no drill. You don't have to shuffle, you can run. So don't, you don't need to shuffle, just run. Run. So push pass with the left hand like that. Alright, and then if it's the right hand it's like that. So that's a push pass. So if you don't know what push pass is, it's a hand behind the ball. It's the same as shooting, you lock on snap, and if you're not shooting the hoop, you're shooting in a plane. So push pass. Yeah, you cross. You, keep going. you guys in the middle keep crossing up your pass. Yeah, exactly. You alright? You ready to try again? Let's do it. We're good with the camera. Go. Now cross. Good. Get it back. Pass it back. Back. Go. Cross. Good work. Let's go. Pass it back. Cross again. Good work. Left hand down left. Left hand down left. Right hand down left. Good work. Well done, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Now come back. Swap. Swap. Right hand side. The guys in the middle. The guys on the outside. So obviously, you're rotating it. Again, if you wanted to have all balls and the next line just goes, that's easy. Right, go. So you, the idea is you try and get them going behind the same way. Obviously, we're learning the drill, but you get the idea. Now, from this set, you can do all the passes, overhead, down passes, everything. Okay. So, so the uh, next one, next one, have a go. Let's go. I'll just leave you to it, because they'll teach themselves. That's the other thing. When you get stuff up. Get, if you've got a leader or leaders in the group, they'll teach each other. Sometimes it pays just to, when you explain something and one group's got it, or one kid out of a group of kids has got it, sometimes let step back and let them teach each other, because it teaches each other respect, and it also, um, it means you're going to probably do it better than if you taught them. I know that sounds strange, just because they're investing something of themselves in the drill. So sometimes be prepared just to say, okay, they're not getting it. Sit back and watch. When it becomes a bigger or no result, then interject yourself again. So here, like, see this? What I want to do is I want to see, I know this guy's a little bit weaker, so what they're doing is they're teaching each other, see? So that becomes really important. They're going to help, them, help the weakest player to actually work out what he's doing. So see, without me interjecting, they've helped him. And that's what you want from your players. You want your players teaching each other because sometimes they're the best coach. Depends on if you've got a kid that shows tact. Some kids don't show tact. <laughs> yeah, they just say, you're an idiot, what are you doing? So, 
You got the right kids, that'll help. So he's doing pretty well. He's the youngest in the world, so that's fine. 